Hi guys and welcome to your Izuk at home workout. We're going to start with movement prep, so the part of the workout that is supposed to prepare you for the later strength, for the strength session, so the strength exercises you're going to do later in the session. So what I want you to do, you're going to start lying on your back on the floor. Both feet are going to be flexed, so your toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Your low back is going to be nice and flat on the floor. You're going to grab your hamstring and kick the leg up and come back down. As you come up to the top, I want you to be feeling the stretch in your hamstring and your glutes, okay? So you're going to come and do it for 10 times. 5, 6, 7, pause the top for a little while, keep a, uh, feel the stretch and then come back down to two more, one more, and then pull that knee all the way towards your chest, pull that across your chest, that was the opposite shoulder, and go right here. Okay, now you're going to swap the leg and go for the opposite side, okay? Now I want you to, if you feel like the experience of the pain in your neck, you're going to rest your head on the floor and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now pay attention to the other knee actively pressing down the rest of the ground, so that you feel stretch, the stretch on both sides of your leg, okay? You're going to go four more, three, two more, two, one. I want you to grab your knee and pull it all the way towards your chest and across your chest. Just wiggle around a little bit and move it down here. Next one, you're going to stay on your back, place your heels on the floor and place your arms to the side of your body. From here, it's so-called hip crossover. So you're going to drop in both directions, okay? You're going to drop here just to get some rotation through throughout your torso and your hips. If you feel very confident about this, you can keep in your, your low back on the floor, you can just drop, lift your heels off the ground and drop on both sides of your body, okay? So you're just going to go from side to side and just do this here, okay? Next one, you're going to go on all the fours, okay? So your hands are going to be placed just below your shoulders and your knees just be right below your hips. From here, I want you to go for, for a so-called cat and camel stretch, okay? So you're going to push your spine all the way up towards the ceiling, tuck your chin in, and then as you come up, you're going to start at the bottom of your spine and go all the way up, look up towards the ceiling. You're going to go for five repetitions, come all the way up, now press your spine down, look up towards the ceiling. Keep going up, and go three more, down here. Good. Two more up, down, and one more, all the way up, and back down here, and go into neutral position. Next one is the core activation exercise, okay? Also your glutes, so there's a lot going on. So it's called the burdock, and I want you to extend the opposite of my leg and bring your elbow knee together just underneath your belly, okay? So as you, you're going to bring your elbow knee together underneath your belly, extend both sides, Come back down, okay? You're gonna go forward 10 times on each side. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, 10. You're then going to change the side and do the opposite arm and neck, okay? So you're gonna go, in my case, for my right arm and left leg. You're going to press and pay attention to this heat pressing down towards the ground. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, guys. Next one, we're going to go for something called the world's greatest stretch. Okay? So you're going to be put one foot in front of you. The back leg is going to be straight, okay? And now, you're going to place this hand on the floor. Now, the outer, the outer elbow is going to drop as low as you can. You're going to reach all the way up towards the ceiling. You're going to come back down, bring your hands on either side of your foot. And now you're going to press the back heel onto the floor and your toes all the way up, okay? You'll feel the strong stretch in your calves, your hamstrings. You're going to come back forward, drop, open up, come down either side of the foot, 
press your back heel onto the floor, your front toes up towards the ceiling, come back down, drop all the way up, down, up, here, okay? And one more, drop, reach all the way up, your hands on either side of your foot, back and down, and you're going to change the side and do the same on the opposite side, okay? So the back leg is straight, your hip is pressing down, and the back side of your knee is pressing up towards the ceiling. You're going to drop your elbow down, reach all the way up towards the ceiling. Make yourself as long as possible here. Place your hands on either side of your foot. Press the back heel onto the floor and your front toes up towards the ceiling. Come back forward. Two, reach all the way up. Come back down, either side of the foot. Back, four, and three, down. Drop, four, press that back heel down. And one more, drop that elbow, open all the way up, stretch your hamstring, come up, and that's it. You're ready to go for your strength session. Your body is mobilized and stretched. So next up is your strength, strength circuit. Okay guys, so that's your second circuit of the series of working out at home. And we're going to start with the lateral lunge with the overhead bridge, okay? So what I want you to do here, you're going to stand with your feet together, okay? Now from here, you're going to uh, take a lateral step. And as you take the lateral step, you're going to shift your hips back and reach all the way up or over uh, your head, okay? Now you're going to step back, reach, come back, okay? Pay attention to this leg being nice and straight throughout the whole movement, throughout the exercise. So you're going to step, reach, come back. As you're reaching out, on your shoulder basically coming together and come down and come back up here, okay? Shift your hips nice and back, keep your back, maintain your back, uh, keep your back straight and do the same thing on the opposite side, okay? So you're going to step up with your left leg, bend, shift, reach overhead, come up. Bridge overhead, come up. So lateral step, reach, come up, and here. You're going to do 12 to 15 reps on each. The second exercise of the second circuit of your training at home is going to be crab bridge, okay? You're going to go in a position called, so-called crab. And from here, you're going to, your hands are pointing back, so fingers are pointing back. Similar to the other exercise, I want your chest to be pushing through your shoulder blades to be pulling together, and I want you to be looking up towards the, towards the rising sun, okay? From here, you're going to take your glutes off lower ever slightly so that you're only on your feet and your hands. You're going to bring this arm just right in front of your face, okay? Now, from here, you're going to thrust your hips up towards the ceiling. Keep pushing, keep looking with your hands and push it around the way, squeeze your glutes. From here, you're going to reach all the way back, then return back, and then come back down, okay? You're going to thrust all the way up, keep looking at your hands, reach all the way back, follow your hand with your eyes, come back down here, and down here. You're going to repeat this, depending on your abilities, six to eight, six to 10 repetitions on each side of your body, so on your left, and your right hand. The next exercise is a very challenging exercise for your core, but also for your full body. It's called the beast hold, all or the beast crawl. Okay, you you you're going to start by um, coming down on all fours. Okay, now I want your knees to be just slightly further forward than your hips. Okay, so just where your belly button pointing down, your knees are going to be aligned with your belly button. Your hands are going to be just below your shoulder, uh, your shoulders, okay? I'm going to spread your fingers, and now you're going to drive your toes into the floor, push the ground away, and hold it here. Now, nice and slow, if you find this challenging, you just stay here and hold it for, let's say, 15 to 20 seconds. If you're okay with this, you can also try and move, okay? So you walk forward four steps, and then four steps, walk back, okay? And then again, forward, and back, 
Make sure that you don't overstride the movement and your steps are the same length every time you take a step. Okay? You're going to take uh, either hold the position for as long as you can or just give yourself a time, so just 25 to 15 to 30 seconds. And the other one, you'll be either walk, walking time to 30 seconds or you can just take calm steps. You're going to go four forward, four back, again, do five rounds of it. 